hello you're welcome how to solve for x in this nice exponential problem solution here from what we are given which is 1 over 81 raised to power x or raised to power x and plus also 1 over 9 or raised to power x equals to 1 here when we follow the law of indices when we have 1 over a or raised to power n be same thing as 1 over a raised to power n that is here we can equally write this as 1 over 81 which is raised to power x and plus also 1 over 9 raised to power x now equals to 1 on this side then from here since the health CM here is 81 raised to power x, we can multiply it through by 81 raised to power x. Then it implies here we have 81 raised to power x times 1 over 81 raised to power x. Then plus also 81 raised to power x times 1 over 9 raised to power x. Then equals to 81 raised to power x times 1. Then now from here, this we cancel each other. We have one left, then plus. Here we have 81 raised to power x over 9 raised to power x. Then equals to here we have 81 raised to power x. Then with this here, having a over b. That is a raised to power n over b raised to power n. We can write this as a over b or raised to power n. So since here we have the same power here, this becomes 1 plus 81 over 9 or raised to power x, then equals to 81 raised to power x from here. And here, 81 over 9, that's 9, so we have 1 plus 9 raised to power x left here. Now equals to 81 raised to power x. And also here, we can equally write this as 9 squared. That is 9 squared equals to 81. Then we have 1 plus 9 raised to power x. Now equals to 9 square which is raised to power x and following the law of indices from a raised to power m times n which is equals to a raised to power m n and also which can be written as a raised to power n and raised to power m which implies that this power can be interchanged so from here this becomes one plus n raised to power x now equals to n raised to power x then raised to power two then let's take everything to one side, maintaining this side, which is 9 raised to power x raised to power 2. Then taking everything here to this side, here we have minus 9 raised to power x, then minus 1, which is now equals to 0. Then from what we have here, let's use a letter to represent 9 raised to power x. So let t be equals to 9 raised to power x. Then from here, this becomes t squared minus t minus 1 equals to 0 that is here we have a quadratic equation here a equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 1 then from the formula which is t equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac then over 2a we have t will now be equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 then over 2 times 1 that is from here we have t now equals to here this become plus that's 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared as 1 and here minus times minus we have plus that's plus 4 then over 2 from here 
and which here becomes c9 equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. That is here we have two values of t. Then from here recall that we represented t as 9 raised to power x. Then here we now have 9 raised to power x to be equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And also here we have 9 raised to power x equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now, from what we have on this side, this will be positive, that is greater than 0. Also, the result here is positive. So here, since both are positive, we have a resolution. Then here, this is positive. Why here, this is negative. So no resolution from this side. So therefore, we reject this side and we work with this. Here, yeah, we can take the log on both sides. So we have log nearest to power x equals to, here we have log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here. And also from the power law of logarithm, log m raised to power p, then this equals to p log m. That is here, this becomes x log 9, then equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here. Then divide both sides by log 9 from here. Then what we have here cancel each other. That is, we have x now equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then over log 9 can be written as 3 squared. And here also, applying power law again, 2 can come here. And here we have x now equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then over 2 log 3 from here and which also we can write as x equals to here this is 1 over 2 here that is half multiplied by log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then divide by log 3 from here then from what we have here when we apply change of this that is from log a over log b which can be written as log a to base b then here we can rewrite this and here this becomes x now equals to half multiplied by log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then to base 3 from here so here we have the solution to this problem yeah and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and uh, put your comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now